Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Progress. My name is Corey and today I've got an exciting unboxing for you. Uh, as you might know, in the Great White North, also known as Canada, we don't always get our product launches on launch day. And in the case of Ryzen 3000 series, uh, the 3900X was nowhere to be found in Canada on July the 7th. So I went online, I think it was 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. or something Eastern time. Um, when the product was actually launched to see if I could get it from a retailer and the only retailer that was showing stock at that time was Newegg and they were going to be shipped from the States. They weren't going to be shipped from Canada. So it looked like Canada didn't have any stock at all. So what I did is uh, look through all the Canadian websites. I uh, saw most of them had the MSRP jacked right up because they were trying to make a little bit of profit off of low stock uh, like everybody always tends to do. And uh, I found one honest retailer who had it for MSRP and they were taking pre-orders for it. So I put my order in immediately, contacted them, said, listen, uh, when am I going to get this processor? A uh, really nice customer service representative told me that I was going to be in the first 10 shipments uh, because I ordered so early and that I was going to be getting my processor shipped out on July 15th when they received their stock. Uh, it actually ended up that they got their stock on July the 12th and they shipped it out July 12th. It had to come from uh, British Columbia to Ontario where I am and basically it took till July 17th to get here. So today, July 17th, I have a Ryzen 3900X to unbox for you guys. So I thought, you know what, let's do this together and uh, let's get into it. Cut her open here. I haven't opened this yet myself, so we're gonna do this together. All right, oh boy, look at that stuff everywhere. Packing, packed nicely. And here it is, a Ryzen 9 3900X. Wow, it took a long time to get this and I'm excited to do some videos on this. Uh, I'm excited to try it out too, so. Anyway, here's the box. Um, really nice, hefty. Um, nice packaging, better than the uh, last gen Ryzen that I uh, purchased, but uh, okay. Um, a sticker here showing the model and everything, so we'll slice that open and we'll see what we get in the box. So, first thing, throw that there. First thing we get is, uh, there's the processor and the sticker for the PC case. Um, comes a nice little plastic package there. Put that up there. Um, open it up some more. Got some instructions. And that's it for the box. It comes with the Wraith Prism Cooler, which is their upgraded cooler. Um, RGB illumination on it. Um, I think it's got a little uh, USB addressable cable to go to it. Um, this one here, oh, USB uh, to, uh, no, let's say a USB 2.0 header to little three pin, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, check the description down below. I'll see if I can figure out what this is and uh, let you guys know about it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So anyway, those two come in the bottom there. Um, there's the cooler, uh, pre-applied thermal paste to the bottom. Um, this is the nicest box cooler that any processor comes with on the market. Like this is awesome. It's got the uh, two clip uh, design so you don't have to disassemble your motherboard and uh, or the mounting brackets on your motherboard. You just clip it on, pull the lever down and uh, put it into place. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in uh, the next video. But this is, uh, this is an awesome cooler. Um, kudos AMD for shipping your processors with a great cooler. Um, you guys seen the uh, 2600X home theater PC video, uh, you know, even the Race Fire cooler is a decent box cooler for uh, for something that you get with your processor, especially with the prices AMD is uh, charging for these things. Like, I, I really got to hand it to them. They, uh, they're doing a great job with, uh, their, with this series of processors. Um, and that's coming from 
I, I normally am an Intel guy, but uh, the last few years I have wholeheartedly loved what AMD is doing. So anyway, if you unbox a uh, Ryzen or you buy a ni Ryzen 9 3900X, you get a Ryzen chip, race by our cooler, two cables, you get the RGB cable, you get the uh, USB 2.0 to something cable. I'm not 100% sure. Like I say, check the description. I'll let you know what that is. Uh, I'll try and find out myself. Um, PWM uh, pins for the uh, fan. Um, actually, ah, uh, here you go. It looks here. Oh, it's to control the lighting on the fan. So that cable looks like it plugs into a USB port. If you don't have a RGB header, I'm going to assume that this cable is uh, to plug into USB 2.0 to be able to control the lighting from software. Um, that's just a guess, but I'm gonna assume that's probably what it is. Uh, just like you're able to plug in the actual RGB header into the side here. So you can see there's a, a low and high mode on the fan, as well as the two, uh, two connectors for that, for the lighting. Um, Anyway, so that's about it. Uh, so I just want to give you a little update on where the channel is going to be going. Um, now with that I have the 3900X, um, I want to do some testing. Uh, the MSI motherboard that I have, the B450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC, is one of the motherboards that has the BIOS chip that is too small to add the Ryzen 3000 series to. So I'm going to be taking this motherboard and doing some testing on it but what i want to do is i want to do a before and after of the bios as well on it and then i want to do some uh, b450 overclocking uh, on the 3900x to see if it can handle it and then eventually i want to move into doing some x470 testing when we upgrade the cold water ryzen my main pc to the 3900x and uh yeah uh yesterday was prime day so, or the last two days were Prime Day, so I have uh, a few things that I picked up on Prime Day. Uh, like I say, I want to try and get everything cheap so I don't uh, spend all my money on this channel. But uh, anyway, I picked up a few things to uh, do some videos on and do some testing on for you. So check back soon. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing some B450 testing, some MSI motherboard uh, BIOS testing, um, X470 testing with 3900X. Uh, I'm going to try and do things on a budget here. Um, and uh, if you can save yourself some money by not going out and buying an X470 board, then uh, I'd like to see that happen. So, thanks for tuning in to Tech Progress. Please subscribe, ring the bell icon so when the next videos come up, you can see them. And uh, I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.